Hey guys, Jessica here. What's going on? In today's video, we are completing the 90 Day Fiance Circle of Life with the cast member Erica. She's cr on this season of 90 Day Fiance. This, I didn't know so many people did photography on the, the show. It's a it's a popular job, you know, aside from you know the constant revisions, the some of the, like retouching a thousand pictures, your camera battery is dying on the day of the photo shoot, you know, hard drives corrupting all the edits and everything like that, all that, that's, it can be difficult, but everything else, it's a great, fun time, fun time. Like showing up to the photo shoot, that's fun. Driving up there, driving, the drive is beautiful. It's a great, that's the, my favorite part. So let's check out her stuff. I've never seen it and I don't know what to expect as always. It's so, it's just a big surprise. Everybody, we like surprises, right? For the most part. So Erica's website is Magic Memories by Erica. That's cute. And it says, when I have a camera in my hand, I know no fear. Erica's a dog lover, a caffeine addict, and an award-winning traveling photographer from Port Augusta. Oh, so she's an award-winning photographer. That's amazing. Okay. I wonder what, what does it say what award it is? We're seeing a lot of stuff about kids here. Um... Okay, let me see. I want to see what award she... I'm interested to see the award that she won. What does it say? I've never won an award, to be honest with you guys. Maybe like a YouTube award. Thousand subscribers. One million. That counts for something, right? I'm kind of... No, it doesn't count. It does not. Do we like snoop on her website? Like, are, are we... Yeah, let's just, let's just take a look here. Hi, my name is Erica. I absolutely love my job. I'm so blessed to be able to say that. I wake up every day looking forward to meeting my clients, seeing beautiful places, and learning something new at every single photo shoot. I love it. Love it. This is literally me. I, I love meeting my clients and traveling. I think this sums up like every photographer's experience. So cute. It says, I promise you... I promise you will look back on your photographs and smile, laugh, and maybe even cry every single time. Sometimes I cry because of how badly I over-edited the pictures, but... Smile, I usually, so I, I smile. We do some good work on here, on this channel. <laughs> Sometimes. She has pricing too, look at, I'm just, I'm looking at everything here. Okay, dude, these are her prices. Family, a one hour photo shoot is $600, wow. Okay, uh, for a couple engagement shoot, one hour. Okay, all digital images from your session, 30 to 80. Okay, so for the amount of photos that she's giving, it seems, uh, like, I'm not gonna hate on anybody's prices. I feel like we're underpaid as it is and undervalued as photographers. So if you wanna charge $600 for an hour photo shoot, you know what, God bless you. I support, get, grab, get the cash, girl, get it. The cake smash shoot, one hour, 25 digital images from your session. Okay. I mean, and and, and they have a professional cake, so she she's providing the cake. I think that's great. Um, I think her prices are really fair. And again, I right now in the industry of photography, a lot of people are underpricing. So I'm glad to see that she's valuing herself. Couples engagement four hundred dollars one hour photo shoot fifteen digital images. I mean, I'm really liking what I what I see here. I think she right off the bat she seems very professional. She has her packages on here. Um, they it's very detailed. So so far so good. The the my favorite thing on her website is the fact that it says all bookings require half of the total investment upon booking. So she requires a fifty percent deposit which i always tell people to do this is very smart and again right off the bat it's looking like she's a great businesswoman and i'm loving what i'm seeing so far so without further ado let's check out her actual work let's look at the weddings right i do wedding photography i know the feeling i know i know what we go through oh so you can't click on the pictures to make them bigger okay uh that's fine okay we'll just have to zoom in here for each photo okay very clean, nice light, well exposed, very cute, very nice, okay. So cute, love the candid moments here. Look at this guy is really going in. Is he like dumping just a bunch of stuff on it? Wow. You know when they give the, the guests like rice or something? I mean, God forbid it hits me in the eye and then I'm not able to do photography anymore. <laughs> so I usually, whenever I see them passing out rice or anything, questionable i kind of just like take a step back okay this one here 
very cute i wonder what lens she's using it doesn't look like there's too much bokeh in the back if i were to guess she's maybe using like a 24 to 70 or something i don't even like who, who do i think i am like trying to guess the lenses over here based on one single picture i know right i need to calm down this one i love this candid moment but it just seems kind of lost like the there's a lot going it's like what is it the whomping willows and harry potter looks like in the back and it's very contrasted i would have liked to have seen uh a, just a little bit less contrast in in this specific photo here but I, I'm loving the candid moments. I think she's doing a great job. That's what people really want to see. Oh, the, this is so cute. I love the colors in this. And look at how she got the sky so well exposed. It's Listen, that kind of stuff is sometimes hard to do. Especially when it's super bright outside. You can see on his shoulder here, it's kind of... It has a little bit of highlight here, but that's still fine. I think she handled it very well in terms of the exposure. So cute. This one, not my favorite. I, I would have loved to have seen this in color and maybe not so highlighted from this left side, but that's just me being picky. Like, I mean, I think she's doing a great job so far from what I'm seeing. So this, I mean, it looks like pretty solid work to be honest with you guys. These are cute little moments. Oh, this one is so cute. What is this location? Oh, Australia is beautiful. You can't go wrong shooting in Australia. Such pretty, uh, like nature, and there's. Look at look at the. You think I have this in Michigan? Look, I got gas stations where I'm at. This is so pretty. Very well exposed here, and I love that they're like mid movement. They're talking. This one here, it, was that a smoke bomb? Is the engine on fire? I'm kind of. I'm a little concerned, but I'm sure it was fine. Every, I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> smoke bomb i don't think the placement for the smoke bomb was the greatest maybe if they would have used another color like maybe a yellow that would have been nice or i don't know actually i think that would have been too much what am i even saying i think her compositions are great and i know how chaotic weddings can be and i don't really critique a lot of wedding photography so this is like a first for me too looking at somebody else's wedding photography very interesting i mean very solid work uh let's see here every guy okay so one thing i can say is like this photo here with the groomsmen if i were to take this picture i would have probably cropped it a little bit lower so less of this dirt is showing and maybe used a different lens i feel like it's kind of distracting like with the trees and then you can hardly really see them so maybe next time just ha have them like physically pull their car up and then just create more of the distance between them and the trees so you can get more of that bokeh it's a cute picture though that's cute if you know if my car was there you probably see the hit from the side because this lady you know ran into my car she backed up into it while i was parked that was not a fun day and that my car insurance never fixed it so you guys are scammers She's doing a good job. One thing I'm noticing though is she has a little bit of color here. I think she's adding that in Photoshop. Erica, you don't need that. I think the photo on its own is very strong. And these little, like these little color bubbles, as I like to call them, can be distracting. If you go back to this photo with the cars, you can kind of see it up here. Unless the sky was, unless the sun was setting and it was that orange. Maybe the sun is different in Australia. I don't know. <laughs> these are very nice i just wish she would have used maybe a prime lens with a larger aperture so that we don't see a lot of this in the back and again it, the focus is more on the subjects and less on the background especially that's why i love to use my 35 1.4 lens for weddings it creates a beautiful bokeh in the background and it just it, it creates more focus on the actual subjects and then we have, now I'm convinced that this was added in, in post, this pop of color. So a photo like this, we have that bubble yet again. I don't think she really needed to add that in post. If it was added in post, like I said, maybe the sun is setting 
you know, a light red in Australia. I don't know. I was only there for two weeks. It's not enough time. I should have stayed longer. But if this is being added in post, then I would say go ahead, add it in, but maybe change it to like a golden warm tone, like uh, like a, a deeper yellow maybe to kind of mimic like golden hour if you want to go down that road. Otherwise, another suggestion I can make is using a prime lens with a larger aperture. So again, we don't see this distracting background because this is more of a like a group portrait type of shot. We're focused more on the subjects in the photo rather than creating a nice scene. You know, when you hand this photo off to the bride, she's not gonna be really paying attention to the background. She wants to see her friends in the photo. She wants to see her grandma in the photo, her mom. So that's why I usually use prime lenses um, when I can and for group shots such as this because again, it really is all about the people in the photo It looks like she does a mix of flash and then Natural light which I love I, I that's how I shoot my weddings. So Yeah, I think her work is uh, pretty good and um, I think with a little bit of refinement and maybe a lens change Maybe we've inspired you Erica. I listen. I don't know Erica could really benefit. <laughs> this is me trying to push more lenses on her. Okay, Erica, I think you would benefit from like a 50 or an 85 lens as well. Just add it to the list. You don't have to buy all of them, but maybe you look into like a prime lens. Maybe she already has a prime lens. I don't know. I can't really tell, but just because I feel it would complement this style of photography. Like this photo here, I think is so perfect. It's so cute. Overall, we have a very solid portfolio from Erica. I think she does great work. I was running out of things to critique. I'm like, oh, maybe this poll right here, you could have photoshopped it. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. Maybe like get rid of a leaf, who knows? But there wasn't, I, I think she's a great photographer. She knows what she's doing. She runs a very uh, good business and yeah. I try to give a little bit of tips here and there, but otherwise I would say she doesn't really need my advice. You know, like she knows what she's doing. She's, she's got it going on. She's good. So thanks for watching. See you guys.